Hi, Sagittarius. If this reading could resonate with anyone who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I will be representing Sagittarius. So for cross watchers, um, you're welcome here, but just know I'm representing Sagittarius and I will be biased towards Sagittarius in this reading. All right, let's go ahead and see what the general forecast, forecast is. I will be looking at the general forecast, then I will look at money and then love in this reading. Looking at the general forecast for Sagittarius. General forecast for Sagittarius. There we go. General forecast for Sagittarius now. Ooh, there you are, Queen of Wands. There you are. Five of Cups. Now this is in the energy around you with the Five of Cups. Someone around you would be experiencing that, most likely, most likely. And um, we have Empress coming out. This is your energy as well. Whoa. We have the Three of Swords. And the last part of the month. We have Temperance. Okay. Just want to make sure there's not a shadow here. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, Sag. So as you're moving into the month, you're in the Queen of Wands. So you're in a natural, a natural enjoyment. You could be doing something new. You could be doing something that you uh, have a lot of confidence in. Um, this is something that you do with a lot of ease and grace and beauty. And um, you're enjoying yourself and you're just in a very natural wonderful place. So I think that you're, whatever you're doing here, you're really shining. You're shining your true, true self out. Let's just say it that way. And you have a certain kind of um, exuberance or you have a certain kind of energy that really is quite attractive to other people. Queen of Wands is very attractive. She, she can pull people in. She can inspire people. It's really because she lives her life with so much gusto. Um, and I'm also hearing the word grace as well. So it's not just dynamic fire. It's also graceful connection, kind of something like that. Now, uh, your what's, what's interesting here, I'm not sure really why this is and what's happening, but you hold the frequency of the Three of Swords. There's something here um, that can be like down within. There could be something here that's somewhat sad or painful. It looks like there's someone around you that could be going through something kind of hard. They uh, And I think that you're feeling that. I think that you're aware of someone or aware of something that's going on you could uh, deep down have like a certain level of anxiety uh, the queen of wands is able to override this three of swords she's able to override it because she has this fire that can help carry her through but then again you have this person around you that's really disappointed in something and i think that they you know let's go into the five of cups why is the five of cups here because it's affecting you it is affecting you let's look at this five of cups um, we have the higher font flipping over. We have the page of swords. Page of swords. That's a learning energy, a vulnerable energy, um, an investigative, cynical could even be, or critical energy. Um, tell me more about the five of. Tell me more about the five of cups. Six of. There's something here that is asking. There's a person here who has made some type of decision. They have made some type of decision, and as they've worked through that decision, it hasn't gone on like they thought it would. Something has happened that where they have experienced some maybe a failure or um, a, a situation hasn't gone the way they thought, and maybe they spent money, maybe they um, have hurt a friendship, right? It is it is asking them. It's ask the universe is asking this person to firm up the way he or she believes, to firm up the way he or she believes, and to find a way to move forward into a, a, a more peaceful experience, a more peaceful experience. And this person is learning now how to move forward uh, because there's still, with the Five of Cups, there's still ways of doing it. It's just not going to maybe be as, uh, be as grand or maybe it's not going to be as much as what this person was planning. Um, and maybe there's a little bit of budget constraint now because there could, this could have connected in with money somehow. 
But the, the universe is asking this person to firm up their understandings and to um, take notice of something, to learn something probably about themselves, to learn something about themselves so they can move forward into a more stable. So this person might have been on a roller coaster. This person might have been a person who could really easily get into things and then kind of get themselves into hot water. Looks like this person is going through, uh, going through this experience to gain more understanding about themselves. That would be the high, that would be like the, um, the, what do they call it? The, um, the, the higher soul or the, I, yeah, the higher soul is, is what's coming forward. Um, so you are in some sort of worry about this with the eight, with the three of swords. Tell me more about this three of swords energy. It's not stopping you. It's not stopping you. It's just that you're aware of this. Um, it could be a, you could be worried that it could affect, somehow affect your future. Three of swords. Tell me more about the three of swords. Three of, three of wands. I mean, you're, you're always looking for tomorrow to be better. Like this is a very dynamic energy. Uh, three of wands energy is there's always this optimism. There's always this knowledge that, you know, if I work hard, if I engage, uh, and when I work hard, when I engage, when I live my true self, when I step into my, uh, my exuberance and my passion for life, I know that I'm connecting into frequencies that help me um, to, to move into improvement. I know that I'm connecting into that kind of frequency, right, with the three of wands. But when there's something that goes on like this, it can really even dim your energy, uh, because some, when we're in life with other people, like when, when we're in life with other people, we're affected by other people, sometimes in our own households, that could, you know, we, that, you know, I do feel like you could be a little bit worried that it could even affect your momentum. I think you're aware of that. And I think in some way, like you could be even frustrated by this. You could be frustrated by this. But as a month goes through, you move, you move into temperance energy. So, you know, you are Sagittarius. You are the sign that's able to understand. You are the sign that has a flexibility, the willingness to, uh, to, to move forward, even if it's not the way you originally thought. You guys, you guys have that ability to do that. And I, you are moving into Sagittarius energy. So you're, even though for a couple of weeks, maybe it kind of dimmed your, dimmed, dimmed your, like, um, it's something that's deep down. It's it's a frequency that's deep down, like in the underbelly. Um, it could have could have worried you a little bit, but I think you're gaining in confidence as you're moving through the month. And by the time you get to the end of the month, I think that you actually have recognized that this could be something better. I, I think that you've recognized that with a little bit of time, with a little bit of effort, that this situation that's around you could actually be better than you thought. And I feel like even as you're moving, you're, you're moving into the Empress energy. So you started the month in the Queen of Wands where you're, it's like you're in your own, you're in your own, sort of in your own bubble. Um, you're doing something that's important to you and, and you have it going on, but there, there's another person that's like, they, they can, they're really impacting this. And as you're moving through the month, I think you're seeing like, oh my gosh, um, if this could be made, if this could be changed into the, into a little bit of a different situation, this could really be quite nice, even for my life, right? So it, it's just like a recognition. It's it's very interesting because you end in the Empress energy. So you end in a, um, it's, it's like you've gained some real insight here that's helping you to, to overcome any kind of worry that you might have. It's like you're trusting in the universe, like, where for a couple of weeks, you might not have really known what to do or how to handle this. But by the end of the month, you've gained some insight here. And you could even be in a place where you could be helping to guide this person through. Uh, you've gained some, you yourself have gained some confidence. How does the Empress feel about the situation around? How does the Empress feel? How does the Empress feel? Five of Swords. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, six of Swords. Yeah. Um, I think that you could be advising this person because you go Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. I think you're helping this person somehow. And, and romantically, it, this this card is it comes out once in a while. 
Um, if there's no one else to talk to, talk to me. It's almost, and, and people, this is channeled to me. I, this has so many meanings. It was channeled to me when I was doing my was shadow cards. And it feels like to me, this, this saying, um, it, it's kind of like, uh, let's, let's work, let's figure this out together. I, I can help you with this. You can, you, we, I can work with you on this. And it's almost like where you didn't have the confidence or the interest in the beginning of the month, by the end of the month, um, it feels like you could be advising this person. You could be helping them out with, with resources. You could be listening to them. You could be sharing your perspectives with them. And I think that there is something here you don't quite agree with, definitely. But with the conversations, um, with the arguments, with the discussions, with, um, with potential resources that you might have connections to, I think this, this could definitely move forward with the Six of Swords. That's the goal. That's the goal for this person with the Five of Cups to move forward. Uh, and this Six of Swords came out before. I'm pretty sure somewhere. So yeah, um, I think that you are helping this person somehow and you have um, realized you have a, a, a high degree of knowledge in some area that you can help with. And you might have, yeah, you might have to bicker and, and have petty arguments or have um, dis heated discussions with this person. But I think ultimately in the end, it really is about finding a way forward that's going to be better. It's going to be more secure. It's going to be more thorough. Emperor, the Empress energy, this is within your natural, it is within your natural ability to do this. I'm going to ask, like, how is the five of cups person feeling about, how is the five of cups person feeling about Sagittarius? How is the five of cups person feeling about Sagittarius? How is the five of cups, people? king of cups? Yeah, I, I don't think this person is actually quite, it, this person is not a down and out at all. This person is a king, just like you're a queen. So you have the same hierarchy. Uh, it's the same level. Now, as you move to the end of the month, you are in like a place of having more information somehow. You you have more information somehow, or you have a, um, you, you just have like a caretaker energy. There's something here you're taking care of, whether it's a project or a business, or you're helping guide this situation, but you are connecting in with the King of Cups, which is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, I think the King of Cups is quite appreciated. I, I think the King of Cups is appreciating this. I think the King of Cups is appreciating this. Emperor, damn. There we go. Emperor energy. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we move along together. This is how we help support each other and build each other up. I mean, you guys are moving into uh, higher versions of yourself. Uh, the masculine is moving into emperor position and you've made it into the empress position. So um, we're talking about success here, working together in very honest, um, helpful ways with one another having understanding, having uh, trust in our own abilities. So um, interesting. Yeah, you guys are emperor and empress here. You're working on it. I think the feminine might make it there first, but the masculine is, he just has this challenge that he's working through and he'll be back in, in, the, in his own powerful um, ways very soon. It's just kind of getting through this rough patch, basically. All right, let's go ahead and look at money. Looking at money for the month for Sagittarius. Looking at money through the for the month. It, uh, financially, um, there there is going to be something to be worked out here, and it, and it ends with justice energy. So the goal is, and your focus is, to make sure that it's fair, to make sure that it's going to work, to make sure that it's going to work not just for today, but how about next month? What is it going to be like next month, and what is it going to be like? into the future uh, because the goal here is to make sure that it's not only okay today 
but it's okay into the future. And with the strength energy, it, it really about is, it's limiting, um, strength energy. It's, it's like there's a beast within. Let's do it now. Let's buy it now. Oh gosh. I don't know if I have the focus to really plan a lot for it. I think I just want to try this. It's like looking at the first thing to buy and just buying it just because you just don't feel like digging in, right? You don't feel like investigating it. You've heard from someone else that this is the best thing to do. So I'm just going to do this. I just don't have time. I, I don't, don't bother me. And I don't want to be questioned about it either, right? That, that's what you're not doing. Okay. So you are being careful. You are looking at options. You are resisting the temptation to just, to just do it without, you know, Sagittarius. I mean, we, we can just do things on the fly and you are resisting that. You're being careful. The, the point here is to, is to create a solution or to bring a solution about that's not just good for one person, but good for both and not just good for today, but good for the future. And so you're, you're really researching. You're spending time looking at it. I don't think if you are spending money, it's going to be very carefully spent. I think for most of you, this is about planning. It's about, okay, how are we going to do this? When should it be best done? How much should it cost? What brand do we use? What company do we work with? Right? And it's really, it's, it's really, uh, it's like the hanged man energy here, controlling the need to just do it on the fly, do it quickly, do it easily. It's really about digging in and figuring out what the right thing to do is taking the time. For most of you, I don't think there's, I don't think you're spending money on it yet. I really don't. You have the strength energy here. I think you're planning, you're digging into it, you're asking questions, you're seeing how your partners feel, you're looking at how it would feel for the kids. You know, it's, it's just more, it's more than just one person here. And I think that's why there's such carefulness. Most of you, I think this, this expenditure, it's, a, and I think that there probably will be an expenditure here. I don't think it's happening this month. I think it's the planning. It's controlling the temptation for it to happen this month. It could happen this month. But if it happens this month, is it going to be done in the in a careful way? Or is it be going to be done in like, oh, I'll just get this. Oh, no worry. It'll be fine. I'll just get this. Well, if that happens sometimes, I just did that with a, I just did this recently with a, a hose for my garden. And I, I was in a hurry. I knew I needed a hose. I had a big leak in the other one. And so I went on Amazon. And the first thing that came up was this um, hose for 50% off. Originally, it was $35 and 50. Oh, 15 bucks. Great. Well, I know that if I go to the store, I can buy a decent hose for $12.99, right? I didn't have to buy it. It, it was like 15 bucks. And when I got it, it wasn't the right hose. It doesn't work right. It's one of those flexible ones that gets longer um, when the water's in it, but it doesn't reach far enough and there's problems with it. So that's just something that I did. And I just did it without researching it. I, I didn't spend time. I just did it. That's Sagittarius. We can do that. I don't see that here. And Spirit is pushing on that. But remember when you did this? Talk about that. That's what. That's why I brought that up. Okay, now let's look at love. Let's look at love. Roman, romantic love. There's something here with a partner because we have the lover's energy. So the, this is happening with people who like to do things together. They like to make unified decisions. They like to... Uh, have that energy of togetherness and intimacy, right? But there's something here where you guys are at odds. And sometimes the lover's energy is like that. It's not always, uh, uh, roses and, and, um, sh sugar, sugary sweet. Sometimes the lover's energy is one person starts taking over the other, right? If the other is so giving and, and mild and, um, wanting to please and the other is passionate and, full of energy and having a lot of things to do, then, then the one that's more passive is going to find um, slowly her desires, slowly her interests, slowly her own decisions can be overtaken by the one that's more passionate. You know, you know, that's where you have these two complementary, you know, personalities together. There is some sort of a conflict here. And I feel like this has to do with the general forecast. Uh, and I feel like the, the one, one of you is saying, let's work on this together. Let's work on this together. You don't have to do this by yourself. We don't have to be at odds with one another. Let's try to figure out how we can do this together. So it will fit 
for both of us. Uh, but but it definitely uh, at odds a little bit this month. Um, partnerships are struggling um, with with each other. It's like two egos. I, I this is this is what I want. This is what I believe in. This is what I like to do. But this is what I want, and this is what I like to do. I, there, you know, and it could be over something simple like, okay, where are we going to go on vacation? Well, I would really like to go to the same place we went last time. Why? You want to go to the same place we went last time? Don't you want to go somewhere different? No, I really don't. I like going, you know, could it be something like that? You know, so let's go into the five of wands. Um, but then we had that issue in the, in the general. So, and it's almost like, it's almost like there's, a, there's one of you here trying to figure something out by yourself. And the other one is saying, wait, why don't you want to talk to me about it? Why can't we work on it together? Let's figure out a way forward. You know, maybe I don't have to do this thing and maybe you don't have to do that thing. Maybe there's a completely different way that we can do it. You know, um, what are we together for if we can't talk about these things? What are we together for if we can't work through these things? Let's look deeper into the five of wands. Six of, six of cups. Or not six of oh, Six of cups is part of it. That's funny. I said six of cups. Well, dang, do I even need the cards? Maybe I just sit here and just say the cards. I'll file a complaint with, with my team later. It's the chariot energy. And I think it does come with the six of cups, definitely. Um, chariot energy. Somebody is wanting to move forward. There, there, there's a block, there, there's a challenge here. Somebody is wanting to move forward with something, but there's a challenge. Um, okay, six of wands, six of cups, six of wands is where you're really looking. Um, what do we need to do to make sure that we can move forward in a way that's going to be okay? Right? Five of wands, maybe somebody's just wanting to do it really fast. Right? Cherry energy. I want to just do it real fast. I want to just get it done. Don't bother me. I just want to get it done. Well, what brand are you going to buy? What store are you going to go to? I'll just go to Home Depot. Well, is it like what kind of washing machine? Can I... I, I would kind of like to have a front loader. What do you want a front loader for? I just want to go, you know, it's that kind of an energy. <laughs> Chariot. So really the, the need here is to make sure that both of you are, are on the same page somehow. High priestess, the feminine energy. Uh, it might be harder for the feminine energy to be vocal about this. It might be harder for the feminine energy to be vocal. Um, You don't want it to be done wrong. That's the thing. You don't want it to be done wrong. And there's a p potential chance that it could be done in a way that could be kind of hurtful or it could have some detrimental effects. So there's a cautious one of you and then there's a forward leaning one. I just want to ask for guidance now. Let's ask for guidance for this. Guidance. Guidance for Sag. Guidance for Sag. Sag, you could be the one that's the forward one. <laughs> you could have a partner that's like a earth earth energy saying, wait, what? What? Do you really need that? Do, do we really need that? Guidance now. Guidance now for Sag. Guidance for Sag. Death energy flipping over. Guidance for Sag. Might be something that you didn't want to do before. That you're having to do strength energy they're not coming out on the table though guidance guidance for Sagittarius yeah it's going to be important to talk it's going to be important to confront this to talk about this to make sure that your vo viewpoint is heard uh, because you don't want it to become a problem that's the thing you don't want and, and you're strongly intuitive here you might have been quietly watching this happen and Spirit's saying, you know, being quiet now and, and trusting in the universe and all that is okay, but sometimes we just have to confront and have a and have a discussion. Right? Sometimes if we if we if we just stay quiet and trust the universe, that sometimes doesn't work all that well because this person is ready to move forward. Yeah, you, you're not wanting to have the pain in the future. So so in order to make sure this goes good, that's why we have the lover's energy, so we can make balanced decisions. That's why he likes her, because she has a certain 
qualities that help him. And that's why she likes him. He has certain qualities that help her. And if it's not in balance, then, you know, um, it could, yeah, I, it's going to be fine. It really is going to be fine. It just needs a little bit of work. Some questions. And maybe this person might not even like the questions. Don't question me. I don't want to think about it. I don't have time. I don't have the energy. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I think with a little bit of um, tender, loving care, this is a situation could, that could be quite beautiful and nice. And it, and I do feel with judgment energy, um, once some conversations are here and, and these details get worked out, it could be um, the best thing that's happened in a long time. So stick with it. Make sure you're communicating. Um, there is a way forward that's really beautiful and very good. And I think you guys are going to be really happy um, once once you get done with with the with the hard part. I think that you'll be really happy in the decisions you guys make because the judgment energy is here. So that's good. It's going to end good. It just comes with a little bit of bickering, a little bit of going back and forth. Well, you didn't. Rah, rah. Well, no, I did not. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, we can be. We can be like that. Five energies. <laughs> we can be like that. Um, but what I like is we don't have the five of pentacles. I mean, we don't have the five of pentacles. Um, so that's good. So there's not that hindrance. It really is about getting on the same page with one another. And, and with the chariot energy coming out, like there's a person here who's just wanted, yeah, I'm going back. So I, so I've gotten there. There's a person here that just wants to do it. And there's another person that's saying, wait a second. What do you want to do? What do you want to do again? Let's, let's get a second opinion. Let's get a second opinion. Something like that. All right, my friends, that is the reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, wishing you guys a good month. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I look forward to reading for you again in a few weeks. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.